need you. Do your girl a favor and hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell so you can get that thing, thing, thing whenever I upload a new video. Waiting for a few of y'all to join me. We y'all at so I had a like a mark right here, a bruise. And I feel like it makes it look my arm look bigger. Cause I had a bruise like right here. So we're gonna put a little bit of the makeup on here. Like it gives it like a shadow effect, is what I mean. What's going on? Everybody up in here. Make sure you pay the entry fee to my house. It's free 99. Hit the like button. I see likes, but I see the thumbs up, but I don't see the people coming up in the place. Hey Chantel, hey Jasmine, hey, what's up? It's naturally named, hey TT, love the shirt. Thank you, yes, I got this um, one of the times I visited Jamaica, I loved it. I do, when I go back to Jamaica, because I know that I will, I'm gonna get the bikini. I wanted to get the bikini, but I didn't get the bikini that, that time that I went. Um, what's up, Damira? Hey, Dorothy. Hey, Alex. Hey, Laura. Make sure y'all paying the entry fee. How y'all doing? Oh, so that was Black Opal. This is a CoverGirl concealer that I'm about to use. That's like a true color match. So I do color match concealer. And I also do um, like a lighter, you know, like for my under eye. Um, that was too much bad if a storm, he like I'm slim and then like Aaliyah, what? Sorry, I was trying to say beautiful love joke. Oh, okay, what's up, boo? I don't know what you're talking about. See, like that's like a really good color match. What? And I just do like a round, like it's just like a, Dap lighter, but you know, nothing crazy. And then of course we go under the eye. I flew to the chat. Okay, so you know, people, there's been some speculation about what's going on with me and Storm. Everybody wants to know. And I just wanna be honest with y'all. Uh y'all need to get the likes up before we start like spilling the tea, cause like where is the likes at? Why y'all not hitting the like button? Tap the screen. It's three dots in the top right corner of the screen. Tap the screen, okay? So, um, yeah, I just, um, honestly. Tap the screen. Everybody up in here, hit the like button. Hit the like button. So, um, anyways, yeah, I, um, you know, people have been speculating, like, do, are we beefing? Like, do we have an issue? And honestly, like, I have not spoken to Storm Monroe in, like, almost two weeks. I haven't spoken to him at all. Like, y'all haven't seen us on screen together. It's been a while. Um, we did kind of get into it a little bit. It wasn't too bad, but we did have a disagreement and I was just like, oh, well, you know, we both have this attitude that we feel like we're main characters. So nobody's going to necessarily back down or like concede and wave a red flag, you know? So I'm just like. I just want to be honest with y'all because for the most part, I don't really come up here and like spill the beans too much, but I do try to like keep it real and like be transparent with y'all. So we have not been talking to each other for a couple of weeks and like that's just me being honest. And um, I told him, you know, like that I honestly didn't get my monthly for the month of march like toward the yeah because i usually get it like 
you know, at the end and it didn't come. And he basically was like, well, uh, congratulations. Like, I don't know who you're pregnant by, but bitch, it ain't me. So that was kind of disrespectful. And I was like, you know what? Fuck him. Like, you're going to get up here and try to play me. You got me looking crazy on these internet streets. Like, for real. Like, you, he pretends to be like this nice guy. He be trying to act like, you know, he a, a lame and all of this other shit. But he really is a fucking bandit. Just like the niggas that I be up here talking about. Because he know good and goddamn well. Anything can happen, you know? Like... And for him to try to just, like, call me a hoe, it was just very, very much uncalled for. And I have not spoken to him since. And if y'all notice, y'all haven't really seen me in his chats like that either. Because he got me fucked up. For real, like... So y'all really need to watch out. People be swearing somebody's a good guy or a good man just because they not running around with kids all over the place or because they seemingly you know, ain't necessarily out here disrespecting or like putting the pause on women, but to try to play in my face and then get up here and talk about, you know, just basically making it seem like we don't fuck with each other the way that we do. Like, I just was not feeling that. I really wasn't feeling it at all. Like, do you know who I am? Like, bitch, you better be fucking grateful that I even entertained you. Like, let's just really be fucking honest. And I just was not feeling that, honestly. So I decided that I was not going to, like, play into these games anymore. Like, I don't have time for a man that, like, kind of acts like he wants you and, you know, oh, blah, blah, blah. You, you can't be out here talking to anybody else and we're going to be out here on the internet together and then get up here and fucking act like it, that's not the vibe. Between us, I'm I really I'm not feeling that. I'm really not. And um at the end of the day, you know, like as women, we have to have integrity. We have to love ourselves. And this is what I really get up here and talk to y'all about. Like, y'all be like, oh, who hurt you? Who hurt you? Like, bitch, I'm not hurt. At the end of the day, I am a woman and I have experience, and I also be talking for a lot of women that be going through the BS with the oh okay, so this is Fenty Beauty from the Match Six. It's in color suede. So I just be, you know, really putting on for us because men really be out here on some bullshit. And Storm ain't no fucking better. Like, yeah, I be up here like for a long time. I was windmilling for him. I was like, oh, he's Oh, leave Storm alone. Like, oh, he's not really bad. Like, oh, leave him alone. And at the end of the day, I haven't heard shit from him. The nigga basically ghosted me. Like, I didn't even know that where he was going. I mean, I knew it was his mother's birthday today. Happy birthday to her. Because our mother's birthday is a day apart. But I had no idea where he was going. Like, I saw him say online, just like everybody else, that he was going out of town. I didn't know. I had no idea. So, you know, people were saying stuff like, I sucked his dick and I had holes in my throat. That's a lie. That's a lie. I never sucked his dick. Since y'all want to know. Since everybody's so curious. I never sucked his dick. And that's the truth. But, yeah, um, he basically was like, bitch, it ain't mine. I don't know what you're talking about. Like, you're a hoe. Well, he didn't really say you're a hoe, but he's like, I don't know what you up there doing in New York. I don't know what you got going on. A bitch, I used a condom. Like, nigga, accidents happen with condoms. You just never know. And even still, like, why would you treat me like that and I'm in a vulnerable space? Like, why would you, like get up there and, and be mean to me you know what i'm saying like even if my monthly dude decides to come like i thought we was cooler than that like i just really didn't understand why he would treat me like that and then to just leave me on red like and not respond to my last couple of text messages i just really wasn't feeling that at all like and and this and i just want to tell y'all as women we deserve better i told y'all we got to be the black cat like multiple fucking texting these niggas trying to Honestly, I feel like if I got to hit you up a bunch of times, it's like almost like I'm begging. Like, I'm really not into begging. Like, that's not the vibe, you know? And he was the one that came to me and was like, hey, 
I, I want you to be my co-host. He was the one that came to me and was like, oh, what's your address so I can send you some flowers? He was the one that came to me. And, you know, like, it was not the other way around the way everybody is trying to make it seem. Like, I did not fucking approach him. I didn't accost him. I didn't... You know, it was it didn't give that like what everybody's trying to make seem like I was not the one making advances, initial advances toward him. That's not how that went. So for him to try to flip the script and just basically act like I ain't shit, like I just really don't like that. I really don't. It's like all of that cute shit is out the fucking window at the end of the day. Like, OK, you're cute. You're light skin. Who gives a fuck? All right, you got, like, whatever. I don't fucking give a fuck about how cute your smile is because you got your braces off. You're not about to play me, and I'm just going to fucking sit up here and take it. Like, that's not going to happen. So I was like, yeah, I'm going to fucking come up here on the internet and let the people know. I have not heard from this man. I have not spoken to him. He said he wasn't shit, but I just kind of didn't believe it because I was like, I don't believe that he's really just not shit like that. Like, I don't know. Like, I really thought, like, you know, that that was like, just, you know, him just like being extra. Like, I ain't shit. Like, no, bitch, it was a warning. This is what I'll tell y'all. When a man tells you who he is, when he fucking shows you who he is, you got to fucking believe him. You have to believe him. And that's the way the cookie crumbles. And you know, I'm not gonna lie, like when he really did leave me on red initially, like my feelings was kind of hurt. And I was like, damn, like, you know, but y'all know how my motto is. You say no, I say next, bitch. <laughs> the men be lined up around the motherfucking block. Like this coochie is fucking hot, bitch, okay? And he'll be back. They always come back. But I just feel like as a grown man, like you should just take uh, own up to your responsibilities. You feel what I'm saying? Like, even if you do think I'm like a hoe or you think like, oh, bitch, like it couldn't be me. Like, you still should have a little more compassion and a little more grace. Like, y'all be up here infantilizing this man. Like, he not a man in, in like 30, like about to be 31. Like, he's a grown ass man. So people be like, oh, he young. He don't know. No, that motherfucker know what he's doing. He's a grown up, okay? So we're not going to keep sitting up here, give him the benefit of the doubt like he's not a grown ass man. Period. It's all right because, you know, I'm inspired. I'm about to get back in the studio, make some music, you know, like I'm about to really get on my ish. I'm about to really get on it, you know, and I, even me telling y'all this, like I, it's, this is not me really going into like major detail. Like I'm just giving y'all, you know, a little bit of like what's going on because I, you know, people just want to know, like, and that's, that's what happened. Like he just really just left me on red. He just left me on red. I don't know what, what else I'm supposed to do. Like, and then I was like. You know, like, should I, like, really try to break the ice or, like, should I? And then I'm like, no, like, you got to have some fucking pride and some dignity. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to have some pride, some dignity. Like, bitch, stand up. Like, don't be weak in the knees for a nigga. Like, you get what I'm saying? The same thing I tell y'all is what I was telling myself in reference to the situation. And, you know... Oh, well, like life goes on. I'm never going to be like a bitch that's just out here sad as fuck. Like, no, like everybody has, you know, a season. Every oh, this is um a Pat McGraw palette. I think I'm going to do, I like this gold and I like this purple. I'm feeling these two colors today. So pretty much I'm just like, and well, first I'm going to highlight on my brow with this Revlon Color Stay Brow Shape and Glow. Um, yeah, I, you know, initially when he left me on red, like, I was like, y'all know how I am. So I'm just like, oh, fuck out of here. Like, really? You gonna leave me on red when I'm going through something? 
that's kind of fucked up, you know? But once again, if a person says, hey, I'm this way, like, you got to believe what they say. Like, you can't just get up here and think that, you know, they saying things like when people give mixed energy to it, be a little confusing because it'd be like, damn, like you're saying these things, but you also say different types of things and then you act a certain type of way. And then people be saying actions speak louder than words. So then I, it's just like confusing, you know, but this is why I always say that a woman should always have a roster of five. You know, like you're not sleeping with all of them by any means. You are not sleeping with all of these men. I got to continuously say that because y'all love to make it seem like I'm basically just sitting up here saying, you know, like, oh, women supposed to just be whores and whore yourself out. Like, that's not what I'm saying. But for situations like this, you know, like when you really start to like somebody and you borderline kind of love them and then they hurt your feelings, like, you know, it's easier to move on when you got other options and when you continuously exercise those options you know what i mean like you can't put all of your eggs in one basket you just can't you just cannot um oh wait no i think i'm gonna use you can't put all your eggs in one basket and it'd be unfortunate you know because you think you got a vibe with somebody and me personally I don't like people that much. Like, it's very hard for me to open up to people and for me to be, like, really, like, just let my guard down and let my walls down or whatever. Because a lot of people try. Like, don't get me wrong. You know, like, even though by the red pill, I done hit the wall, I done fucking crashed into that motherfucker. But men really like me. There's a lot of people that try to pursue me. If I go outside, you know, people trying to pursue me. They want to date me. They want to, you know, like, try to, you know, crack my egg. And I just be like, dang, like... When you just really open up to somebody and you just don't get the same type of like thing. Oh, this is so pretty. You don't get the same type of. um. So I'm using this purple right here. And that one. One, two, three, four. One, two. Or is it going this way? One. Uh, I don't know what the hell this is called. I'm trying to see if it's like. I think this is called blue blood, but this is purple, so I'm so confused. Oh no, I think the one this one is probably synthetica. I don't know. Don't don't get me up here trying to goddamn like pretend. Cause the way it is on this chart is confusing me. Like it's like, okay, anyways. So yeah, I just, you know, I want the ladies to know like you're you're loved, you're beautiful, like, oh look at that. Can y'all see? Mmm, that's fucking gorgeous. You're loved, you know what I mean? You're worthy, like, don't don't let these men, like, treat you terribly, like, oh, my God, that is freaking gorgeous, Gorgina. And once again, this is Pat McGrath. Um, what is it? So I think this is called Blue Blood, even though it's purple. I, I'm so confused by the way they named it, but I'm just letting y'all know for anybody that's going to be like, what color is that? But it's really, really, this is beautiful. Oh, my goodness. And, um, but I can say, you know, that I actually really, I still have feelings for him. I'm not going to lie. Like, I do. I actually like him more than I've liked anybody in a long time, to be quite honest. But to be left on red is hurtful. It is. And hey, Left on red. What did you see in him? No protection. Um, what did I see in him? I mean, he's mad cool. Like, he's funny. Ooh, let's try some of this gold. Mm. 
This gold one is called gold standard. See, and we got to have standards. Put a little bit of this up here. Ooh. Um, I think he's really smart. He's like really book smart. Ooh. Um, you know. Ooh. He's really, really smart. He's ambitious. I thought he had like, even though he'd be out wilding in the streets and stuff, or he was according as per his, you know, admission, he still has like this innocence about him to a degree. And we just kind of like was similar in a lot of different ways. You know, like we we're both earth signs. So we both enjoy like, you know, our own personal space. We're both warm blooded animals. So we don't need a pack of people to like validate us or to feel good about ourselves or whatnot. Um, yeah, that's pretty much the vibes like and we have similar interests like we like to do similar things like we we like to you know like just have a good time without it being too much chaos and drama and stuff like that you know i really love this eyeshadow y'all like And I think I'm going to use this cream. Which one is this? Synthetica. Like on the, um, over here. But yeah, like, honestly. He was very, very, like. Okay, so this is how I could describe him, right? You know how when you go to the gym and you're not consistent at the gym and you work out and you kind of know the routines, like you've heard people tell you what to do, you've seen videos, you know, like you've taken consultations, but you never really did it. Storm Monroe is like a trainer, like a personal trainer. You know, like you kind of know what to do, but it's like a reinforcement and it's like an accountability partner, so to speak, if that makes sense. So that's what I saw in him. That's what I still see. Oh my God, this is eating, bitch. This is eating, bitch. This is uh, uh, uh. But, you know, everybody want to know, like, oh, people be calling me a beard. I'm not a beard. I'm not. I've never been a beard. I actually have feelings for him. In real life. But, like I said, when he left me on red, it really did make me feel some type of way. It, it did. The old me would have, you know, got flew the fuck out by somebody else by now but this me in this you know stage and phase i'm just like really getting into myself i'm getting into my bag once he like kind of ghosted me like i just was like all right we really gonna do the up kick on tiktok make sure y'all follow me on tiktok because my numbers is going up over there my followers is going up over there you know i just really started pouring more into my own personal brand and having consultations i've had a couple meetings like i'm about to start you know partnering with other brands i got a lot more things going on so i took all of that energy that i felt that i was like bitch you got me fucked up and i just started pouring it more into work instead of going to you know because y'all know how i am you say no i say next like i be on to the fucking next but i just you know i was like instead of like Focusing on any man, I'm just gonna get into my bag. You know, only men that I have been talking to it has been about business. Period. Period. 
periods. So, um, yeah, I'm just, so I'm like healing, I guess, you know, I don't, I don't know if we'll talk again. Like, I'm really not sure. Um, I mean, it's not like I cried or anything like that. You know, I did not cry, but I was, I was kind of sad. Cause he's also like my best friend. You know, like when you used to talking to somebody that much all the time and then like the vibe changes, like you just be kind of like, it throws you for a loop and you're like, damn, like it, it, you also, you also have to fight the urge to try to like fix things. You know what I mean? Because it's like, hold up. Like sometimes you just got to let things naturally take its course, but you got to fight the urge to try to like fix things because it's like, okay, well, how do, how do we get back on track? How do we get back to how we were, you know? You kind of mourn that. Oh, this is um, L'Oreal Paris Voluminous uh, Liner Noir. My TikTok, oh my God. Is any of my mods up in here? Do y'all have my TikTok? And you know, like, you just gotta really get into yourself and your self care. And you gotta mind your self talk as well. Because as women, we be like, oh, what did I do? Did I say something wrong? Did I do something wrong? You know, like, but no, like you got to let people be them. And if they want to ghost you, if they want to leave you on red, like you just got to move forward. It doesn't feel good, you know, it doesn't feel good at all, but life is life. And I'm about to use this wet, wild, wet and wild and like do a little um, highlight or whatever. But at the end of the day, it's no love lost. You know, like I still wish him the best. I wish him the absolute best. And I just hope that everything works out for him. I do. And I appreciate him. I do. Because you know, you don't come across people like that all the time. Like, he honestly did not have to share his platform with me. Like, he didn't have to, like, you know, like, work with me. Like, he didn't have to. And, you know, I also have to know, like, I'm a fucking star. And I shine bright like a fucking diamond. And we was going to get this popping regardless because this, this was a part of the plan. And I put myself in this mode. But he absolutely, you know, has been instrumental. I will never sit up here and act like, you know, he wasn't helpful to me. He was so supportive. He always encouraged me. Even if he would like hit me up and be like, get your ass up, wake up. Or you need to do this. You need to report on this. You should be doing that. I appreciate that. You don't, you don't really find people like that. You know, that's going to actually like support you and like stand by you and like see the fact that you have all of this untapped potential. You know? So I appreciate that. I really do. But once again, like, you're not about to ignore me or leave me on red. Like, I don't like that. I really don't. I really don't. I'm not feeling that at all. I'm really not like, mm -mm. we really have to stop being weak in the knees. And even if you like somebody and that's what be the hardest thing to do. Like when you actually like somebody and you got to like turn that off, you know, or like reroute how you feel about that person or how you think about that person. Like it's, it, it don't be the easiest thing because it's hard, you know, like, and it's not like he cussed me out like a dog in the street 
or like outright disrespected me like his disrespect or not even disrespect his disregard was more passive aggressive you know so it's hard to be like oh fuck him he ain't shit like it's it's not the easiest to do that because it wasn't like he was like bitch fuck you you dog head ass bitch you ain't shit like it really didn't give that it really did not give that it was very passive you know and that'd be the hardest pill to swallow because it's like dang like he didn't really technically outright disrespect me, you know, or like drag me or like dog walk me. But it's still hurtful, you know, like, damn, like it still kind of makes you feel like, damn, you know, like, what the fuck? Like, for somebody to just be so cold, towards, so warm towards you one day and then so cold the next. Oh, this is Bobby Brown Vanilla um, Cream Long Wear Cream Shadow Stick. I just go to my eye. You know, like, oh, now I want to keep dropping everything. But, you know, we fall down, but we get up. We fall down, but we get up. For a saint is just a sinner who fell down and got I need more blush. I need to do a little more cream. Because we're doing it dramatic. Dramatic. Thank you guys. You're so sweet. And this is literally NK. I got it from the beauty supply store. Um, I don't know what color it is, so don't get me to lie. I'll just pick it by the top. <sighs> oh, this um, mascara is Lash Craft. Thank you, Virgo Mama. I'm so sorry to hear about this. You always seem like such a private person. What made you want to air this out? So, um, I am a private person. And sometimes you just got to get things off your chest, you know? And I, like I said, he ghosted me. So I figure, like, since he don't want to talk to me, I don't, I mean, I think I called him one time and he didn't answer. I was like, maybe, you know, I could just speak my piece and maybe this is, what is this? This is Wet n Wild, uh, Mauve Out of Here. <laughs> yeah, I know I'm an ombre girl. I'm an ombre girl in a... Regular world. That didn't really hit the way it sounded in my head. Uh, 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 yeah. 
Why would you say one time now you know you lying? I don't be calling people phone down. It never gave that. It never, ever gave that. All right, um, he didn't wife you, so I will either into the frame soon and scream April Fools. Well, he don't gotta come and say it because I'll say it. April Fools, bitch! April Fools, April Fools, April, April, April Fools, April Fools, April Fools. April, April, April Fools, April Fools, April Fools, 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 April, April, April Fools. You deserve an Oscar. I know it. Storm could never have, ha never, he has a diamond. <laughs> uh, I knew it. I give acting a cool two out of 10. Oh, please. You're a hater. You're a hater because my acting skills is way higher than a two, baby girl. I was exposing way too early. I said, oh, dang. She doing the good one. <laughs> yeah, and Cookie Monster 2 was like, April Fool's like, bitch, you don't even let me get my story out. Like, pipe the fuck down. God damn. A New York street walker. Bitch, fuck you and your mother, all right? Get the fuck out of here, bitch. The real LJ would never, never! <laughs> I know Storm didn't do it raw. <laughs> ah. Why you lying like a Persian, bro? I give it an eight because I believed you. Thank you, Cali girl. Because these other motherfuckers is cap. I'm talking about oh, two out of ten. Like what? Chow, we knew. Do it clap? Of course it claps. Where's that lipstick from again? Oh, uh, I got this from Rite Aid. I got this from Rite Aid. I think it was like three or four dollars. No more than four dollars for this lipstick. Now you was acting. You did great. Yes. Thank you. The chat was acting. Child out acting was 10 out of 10. Thank you. Saw you on his chat the other day. <laughs> and look at how many people was up in here. Almost 500 people was up in here. Dang. Okay. That's what that's what y'all wanna see. Y'all wanna see me spill some some fictitious tea, and they gonna run with it. Be like, she it, that wasn't no April Fools. That was true. Go ahead. Shit, it's the first of the month. We got to get the um the assets popping because last month, child, I don't know what the hell they was doing. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to my channel. People love bad news. Yeah, Golden, me and you were trying to play along. <laughs> I have a new follower. Because we got your back. Period. I said that negative. <laughs> Thanks for doing this. They really wanted y'all to fall out. We did not fall out. I talked to that nigga last night. I was laughing the whole time. My best friend of Virgo child. I knew you was like. <laughs> yeah, because Virgos are very secretly private type of people. You made me go to him for the Jag. What? The Jag interview? I miss it. They thought you were going to crash out. Never. Oh, no. I love your synthetic wig. Thank you. Tell your mom congratulations for not swallowing. I love your vids. Fart in my eyes. Send me some money and I'll um send you a fart through the mail. You had me getting mad at store. <laughs> that was, a, I was so happy. That was a joke. You both amazing people. Thank you. You had me fooled. What you think about Eris? What? How are you today? I'm fine. I'm actually, I'm hungry because I'm trying to like fast for the whole day, but I don't know if I can make it. <laughs> I was like, okay, I'm not going to eat any food for the entire day. I think I'm going to eat something, but it won't be anything heavy. 
probably like a salad or something. My mom just had a baby. Aw, congratulations. Well, even if it was a joke, we got your back. Yes, thank you. I didn't know what your live was about. I saw you go live and check, clicked on. This is the most I ever had up in here in a long time. Well, no, since I had that fight, it was a lot of people watching. But this is a lot. I thought it was funny. Thank you for the laugh. Yes. My sister just had a baby. Shout out to y'all. Girl, you about to go make us be so down. Well, at least I know that if, God forbid, he treated me like a piece of dog shit, then y'all would have my back. <laughs> I know his ass watched this too. I know he did. Hey, Storm. I love your hair. Thank you. Now, Storm thinking, how can I one up you right now? Should I continue my anime art? Of course you should. Why shouldn't you? Oh, it look like I ain't got nothing on. I have short little shorts on. We love you. I love y'all. I've been riding with Storm first, but I would have been windmilling for you. <laughs> That's funny. That is hilarious. Um, greetings. Hi, love. Jones flashing us. Girl, I'm already emotional today. Oh, you must work out. I don't. I need to work out. Love all your lipstick combos. Thank you. I'm going to have a lip kit coming soon. I was ready to throw up my internet hands at song. <laughs> love, Jones. Thank you for the tutorial on your makeup. Thank you so much, baby. What you doing today, boo? We got your back. Yes, Golden. Golden was like, that's messed up. This story is crazy. <laughs> um, so I got I'm gonna go run some errands. Well, I already did a couple things early this morning, then I took a nap and I woke back up and I was like, oh shit, it's 5:35. Whatever else I have to do is gonna have to wait until tomorrow morning. But I'm not y'all know I don't really do nothing. All I do is work. I do Zoom meetings, calls, content. And I get 10,000 steps in a day. I pay bills. I pay rent. Like, that's it. I don't really... I haven't been going out except for this weekend was very eventful. And I was tired. That's why I didn't do the call-in show last night. But I still gave y'all a show. I still gave y'all a live. It was nice seeing you live. Thank you. You coming back later? I might, yeah. I was buying it at first. You know, so look at right. We had these on for eight days now. I'm ready for something different now that I know that they're gonna last. Like, I can't believe it. Like, I don't know how to show y'all. Like, I can't get up to get that because my whole ass will be out and I'm not about to do that. I'm trying to find something hard to bang on. Oh. It's the glue, y'all, it's the glue. This is the glue that I use. Goldfinger. You can get it on Amazon. No, these not Nicki Minaj nails. I heard Nicki Minaj nails was expensive. I didn't go on her site to check it out myself, so I can't even really say what they, how much they are, but I don't know. Can I fart into the mic? What is wrong with y'all? Get y'all freaky fetish asses out of here. I love you. I love you too. Your cat is fighting you. Fight back. Fight back. My cat not fighting me. He right here, sniffing my fingers. Hi, Mimi. You want to say hi? You want to say hi to the people? I 
All right, y'all getting blocked talking about Flora and Mike. I don't know what type of kink. Like, get out of here. Your makeup is on point. Thank you. <laughs> y'all funny. Oh my God, I'm so hungry, y'all. I'm really trying not to eat. Ugh. I'm hungry. I don't think it really mattered earlier because I got up, I did what I had to do, whoop -de -whoop, and then I went back to sleep. So it didn't feel like, oh my God, I'm so hungry. But now I'm, I'm like so hungry. We packed up in Miami. Shouts out to you. I haven't been to Miami in a couple of years. The freaks coming out day and night. Can I see your cat? Bambino, come here. Come here. Come on. He not, he acting too jittery. I don't got time. Come here. Nope, he act like he want to bite. And I don't have time for that. I ain't never clicked so fast because y'all messy. I love you here. Thank you. The people want to see you. Thank you. I got this from Jamaica. Like legit from a lady on the beach that had like a little shop. Uh, 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 yeah. All right, y'all keep putting gat. Like, okay, I'm not even standing up. Is this an April Fool's live? Maybe, maybe not. Love you, make it. Thank you, teens in the chat. The trolls with the ice spice. It, it do. It's so fucking annoying. It's storm my type. Yeah. I love your hair. Thank you. Your picture is so nice. Thank you. Uh, I did these myself. The nail brand is Goldfinger and the glue I use is Goldfinger. All right, I'm about to get out of here. I'm gonna stay up here for two more minutes and then I'm getting out of here. I think I'm gonna go get a, like, make a salad or get a salad or something. I need lotion. I put on some um, shea butter. You're not even a black person. Get the fuck out of here, bitch. It's Easter, you have fun pretty. Can you shout out? No, I'm not shouting out these people. I don't know what y'all talking about. I don't know y'all. No. Oh my God. Yes, Cookie Monster, you didn't even give me five fucking minutes to say my what I had to say before you started saying it. You was trying to ruin it for me and everybody else. <laughs> Why 
keep dropping everything? What is that about? Exactly. Y'all crazy. Karma for being rude. I'm I'm working on not cussing y'all out like a dog in the street. So I'm I'm just not even gonna say nothing. I'm just not even gonna say anything because y'all just, it seems like y'all be wanting me to cuss y'all out and I'm, and I'm not gonna fall into it. I'm not giving into it. I'm ignoring you. I'm ignoring y'all. You're getting ignored, period. Period. Oh, this is Laura Mercier. This is what I be using for my um powders, my, my loose and pressed powders. So that's, I'm a high and low girl. I tell y'all that all the time. I use high brands. I use uh, drugstore, beauty supply. I'm a high and low girl. But not low like Dollar Tree low. Like I, I've never used makeup from Dollar Tree. I don't think I could get away with it because of my skin tone. Or maybe I should try and see if they even have anything that. That's my neighbor yelling at her kid. It's so pretty. Please sing one call away is my favorite saying. I don't know what song that is. And I don't just sing on demand like that unless you're paying me. But thank you. You're boring. So why are you here, bitch? Hello, love. Hey, you're boring. Okay, bitch, leave. You look like what I flush. Get the fuck, bitch. Y'all got me fucked. See, I'm, I'm about to start cussing y'all the fuck out. What is this fart stuff? What is y'all is nasty. Did you see that last appearance of Lady Gaga? It was weird. I didn't. No, I didn't. So on Wednesday, we're going to do another call in, like a show that, you know, where y'all can actually call in and tell me about stuff. Me too, high lows. If I yeah, exactly, Tracy. Thank y'all. Thank y'all so much. Y'all are sweet. Y'all are so sweet. I love y'all too. Hi. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Do I live in Africa? I don't. I live in America. I'm American. This is all of us putting our claw away now that we know we don't have to beat the hell up. You mean beat claw, be putting your claws away knowing that y'all don't have to beat up stuff? <laughs> well, at least I know that y'all will ride at dawn. Where all these people coming from? I don't know, but it's all right. If you're not subscribed to my channel, subscribe, 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 subscribe. Y'all like it. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you guys. Yes, make sure you pay your entry fee. Thank you guys. Hey SM. Yes, we still on. This is day eight. What do I do on my channel? I give social commentary. I talk about men that ain't shit. I uplift women, we do affirmations, I pull oracle cards, I do makeup, I do nails, like we, we do beauty and social commentary. 
and you know affirmations manifestations making women feel better about themselves that's what we do over here why are y'all so fucking nasty i can't what is wrong with these nasty men you see how disgusting men are a lot of men Yeah, let me put it like this because you can just see it straight up. Thank you. I'm not nasty. Hey guys, do either of you have the the um the link to my TikTok? If you do, can you post it? Thank you. That's who you're attracting. Thank you, Ava. I don't know. It just seems like people be wanting me to like be rude and go off. And then when I do, y'all sit up here and say I'm mean and I got an attitude and all I do is cuss people out all day. That's really not what I do all day. But y'all not about to be up here playing with me like this. Am I doing okay today? I am. I'm just really, really hungry. I haven't had any food. So that's not fun. Where am I from? Brooklyn. I uplift women and shit on men. I shit on men that ain't, that's, that's a piece of shit. I absolutely shit on bad men. Yes, I do. You're not rude, they just probably are jealous or something. I don't know. You have to give them, you don't have to give them your power. Of course not. Can you say hi? Hi, Jess, love your hair, thank you. Do you like to do art? I do, and I have not done any in a while. Oh my God, I'm from Brooklyn too. Yes, shout out to Brooklyn. Can you sing? I can sing. What's your favorite color? Um, I like pink, I like purple, I like red. Um, I like green, that's my birthstone. Girl shake some. For $2, you got me fucked up. Bitch, this is all you gonna get for $2. I shook my fingers. What's your fast end? I don't, what does, when does your fast end? Oh, so I just wanted to try, I try like one day at a time. I usually, I do intimate fasting every single day. Like I do not eat for, throughout the whole day, but I wanted to try to like not eat anything for one entire day. Like I had like a couple swigs of water, but I don't know if I could do it. Like I'm, I'm trying really hard. So, but I want to, I want to at least, you know, for like three days, like just not eat anything, but I don't know if I could go a full day. Like, I'd probably break and just eat a salad. Is that you in the background? Yes, it is. All of these pictures of me. No eating and no drinking. Yeah, I haven't been drinking anything. Honestly, on the second, it would have made 30 days that I haven't had any alcohol. But I did have a cup of rosé at my mom's party. Y'all saw me with a cup. It was literally like this much of rosé in it. That's the only thing I had to drink that whole night. For the rest of the night, I was just drinking bottles of water. I love the black and white pics. Thank you. Who the hell said men are better? Drop the lip combo. Oh, this is Wet n Wild. Um, Mauve out of here. And then I just got this. It's like a purplish plum. I don't even know the color. Like I literally just got this from the beauty supply store. <laughs> but I'm going... When I do a lip kit, it's going to be, it's going to look like what I'm always wearing. Coming soon. Men are cool. Some men are cool. I don't see people being weird and nasty on some of these other platforms. And those people be doing and saying a lot worse. That, hello? Hello? Stop with the spamming pro. Ooh. Thank you, boo. Thank you. 
I said I was about to get up off here, but I, I might not come back later or I might come back later. So I'm gonna just talk to y'all for a little bit more. And it's kind of getting my mind off of being fucking hungry. <laughs> and I haven't had any coffee either because I was like, I'm going to try not to do coffee. But I was reading like, um, you know, people talking about their fasting and was like, you can have a cup of coffee or whatever. Just, you know. But it's hard because I don't just drink black coffee though. Like I always put like some type of mocha or vanilla flavoring in it. So I don't know, like, and I don't always have to have cream. Like I literally will do almond milk or oat milk, but I just, I love the taste of the like French vanilla or like mocha, like chocolate, like, mm -hmm. Love Jones by five, 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 seven. I know. Shut up, bitch, you shut up and get the fuck out of here. I'm fasting so it's hard. It is. I'm hungry. I'm going to eat something. I'm going to eat something. It just won't be anything heavy. I mean, I don't really eat bad, though. Like, that's the thing. Like, in real life, I don't eat bad like i don't eat fried foods all day like i'll eat fried foods very random like it's very few and far in between i did have fried chicken at my mom's party and i have fried fish so on saturday i had fried food um i will not have fried and i and i ate curry i think it was goat and i had curry goat so i don't really eat like that i can't remember the last time i had red meat is, is gold considered red meat? Well, no, no, no. Last, was it Tuesday or Wednesday? I went to brunch and I did have oxtail. And oxtail is red meat. Okay, so I did have red meat last week. And then on Saturday, I had goat and I had fried chicken and fried fish. So this week, I, will, I'm not, I won't have nothing fried for probably another month or so, to be quite honest. And I don't really, like this whole week, I might eat some fish, but it will not be fried. And I'm not going to do any chicken. Like, I've tried today to, like, just not eat anything for the whole day so I could just, like, reset my system after having, you know, all of the fried food and all of that that I had on Saturday. And I'm not, on Saturday and then Sunday, I ate some leftovers earlier Sunday before I left my aunt's house. So, technically, Saturday and Sunday, I was eating, like, goat and fried chicken and fried <laughs> So today I'm like, bitch, er, like you gotta, er, 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 like you cannot be, er. and I don't really have a craving for like anything fried. Like that's not what it is. Like these days I've been, um, well, last night I wanted a Kit Kat. I did not go and get it. However, I did not, I did not have a Kit Kat and I was clapping it up for myself. I did have a small bag of chips. It was Lay's, so I didn't feel that bad. But I did not have a Kit Kat, even though I wanted one. <laughs> I didn't do it. Um, cornmeal ammonia will do it. Ooh, what's what? No. Thank you, love. Gotcha. Cream and friends. Oh, I don't know what y'all talking about. She got some heavies. I only eat coconuts, avocado, and protein shakes until my challenges are over in a month and a half. Oh, I love that. You want to lose weight, work for an Amazon warehouse. <laughs> I couldn't. I don't think I could do it. I'll be thinking about that. Like, if I went out into the workforce, like, in real life, I don't. I would have to be sitting behind a desk or, like, just really working from home, like, answering phones or something. I couldn't go out and... I can't do that. I can't. So that's why I'm working overtime to really like pop off my products and, you know, build my platforms because I, I can't go out or like, it's just not, it's not, you know, push coming to shove. I'll just get married and like be <laughs> somebody's wife that's already got a house. I ain't got to worry about the mortgage because he already got that taken care of, you know, just picking up what I'm putting down. Am I single? I'm not married.
stand up and turn around? Bitch, no. What does that mean? I don't know. I just be seeing the Gen Z doing it on TikTok. Well, it means love over here. How has your day been? It's been good. You and your family look really nice at the party. You were stunning. Thank you so much, babe. Will you marry me? Cash at me and I'll think about it. Send me a super chat. No one Gen Z, it could mean anything. Can we date? Send me some um a cash app or a super chat and I'll think about it. Are you smart? What the but but does he? How you doing? I'm good, thanks. Thank you, Cookie Monster. Love the hair. Thank you. All these bots. Hello, you look so beautiful. Thank you. And my Sigma, like, I love you so much. Say, hey, babe, to me. Who took those photos? Uh, these photos is from a bunch of different photo shoots. Um, I got these up here done in Brooklyn by this photographer. I can't even think of his name off the top of my head, but I am still following him on Instagram. This was done on a waterfront in New Jersey. This was shot in Arizona. This was shot in a waterfront in New Jersey. Y'all can't see the rest, but I have one up here that was shot by a photographer slash one of my best friends in Houston. Shouts out to Davin. Um, Y'all can't see the rest, but I got a bunch. Turn around. Bitch, you getting blocked because you got me fucked up. You ain't send me no money. You think you could talk to me like this? Uh-uh. How old am I? I am a grown woman. I can do whatever I want. How tall am I? Five, six. You're so beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Y'all look sweet. Was you and Storm not talking an April Fool's joke? Yes, that was an April Fool's joke. Love me some LJ. I love y'all. You must have some good heat in your apartment. I'm sitting up here with the sweatpants and a t-shirt and still had to put on my jogger jacket. Yeah, it feels good in here. Hey, Diva. Hey, Quisha. I love your eyeshadow. Thank you, boo. It's a Pat McGrath uh, palette. Pat McGrath. Laps. Um... Can you sing a song for us? No. Are you alone? I subscribe. Yes. Everybody up in here subscribe because we should be at 12K by now. We should be at 12K by now. Is that your real hair? Yeah, it's just as real as you. I subscribe. How's Brother Jones? He's doing good. Good. I look like Logan Paul. Bitch, you look like the bottom of my motherfucking sneakers. Clap with no hands. Where you get your shirt? From Jamaica, Negril, Seven Mile Beach. What do you like to do on a rainy day? Cuddle. How's Brother Jones? Girl, she's okay. Stop asking her, bro. They young man. You 
good. Mm. You got the flat. That lady said, don't ask about Brother Jones. He's spoken for. Thank you, Quisha. Hi, I'm new. Hey. I love your voice. Thank you. Brother Jones, girl, freaked out on live. Don't laugh at She doesn't mean any harm. She don't be up on these uh, social media platforms like that. Love what's your opinion on B's new country song? I love it. I love it. I like bounce on that ass. <laughs> bounce on that ass. <laughs> I like that. I think that one is called River Dance. The one with her and Miley Cyrus is really good. Love Jones. You are so sweet. Glad I found your YouTube page. Where you what where are you from? I'm from Brooklyn. I'm from Jamaica. Shouts out to Jamaica. Your lipstick popping. I love your eye makeup. Thank you. You need to show me how you do that. I, I did. I literally did a get ready with me. So I did it on here. You got to go back and watch the beginning of this video and you'll see it. When are you doing cooking videos? I want to see how you made your rasta pasta. I'll do cooking videos. All of that is coming soon. How many brothers and sisters do you have? How many bedrooms would you like in your house? Well, my brothers and sisters is not coming to live with me first and foremost. Let's start there. Um, how many brothers and sisters do I have? Uh, eight. Do you eat BBC? Get the fuck, bitch. Are you Muslim? No, I'm not. Thank you. Uh, just uh, Amy. Thank you, St. Marquise. <sighs> What do you fall in line with your siblings? I'm the eldest. Do I speak Dutch? No. Like, what the fuck? I love your lips. Thank you. So many weirdos in the comments lately. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. It's entertainment. Until they get a little out of hand. I mean, I'll be trying not to cuss them out too much. Do you practice, practice witchcraft? No, I don't. I'm an alchemist, though. And I am into herbal you know, alternative methods of healing oneself. Um, tell me why we have the same hair tone color. My braids are similar. Lit. Do you like listening to reggae on the beach? Yes, I loved it. Um, I make it look scorched. Thanks, Sharon. Do you braid hair? I do not. We love your everything, LJ. Thanks, Bello. Do I have an any or an Audi? Is it any? Thank you. Thank you, guys. The eldest is a tough little sibling. Yeah, that's why I ain't got no children. <laughs> How old am I? I'm grown. How much time do you... Uh, am I single? I'm not married. You're so pretty. Thank you. And yes, you have the nails done again. No, these are the same ones. These are eight days old. But I'm gonna do some new ones. I wanna see how I wanted to see how long they could last, but I do kind of wanna do some different ones. So we'll probably keep these on for another week. And if they last, you know, then we'll you know, we'll see. And then um I'll take them off with you guys and then reapply a new set with you guys. Where am I from? Brooklyn. Of course, boo. Thank you. How can y'all say black girl magic, but then demonize whether or not a black girl actually does magic? Things that make you go, hmm. I 
I know it was a joke because you and both talked about kids and I knew neither one of you would be reckless like that. I feel you're both very responsible about the subject. Black Girl Magic. Oh, wow. That's good, though, for over a week. Yeah. Are those the press on styles you were talking about? Yep. Do I have an EBT card? I wish, bitch. And you getting the fuck out of here. How many kids do you want? And do you see it? I see my parents all the time. I don't know if I want kids. I feel like I'm going to have at least just one. Your nails still look great. Thank you, boo. Do you like braids in your hair? I like braids, but sometimes, like, you know, um, heard about Diddy, of course. I have some videos on him. Subscribe to my channel and look through my videos. Hi, oh, you're so pretty. I love your style so much. Thank you, uh, Lexi. Thanks. When you help raise your siblings, you don't want a big family for real. You so rude. So why are you here? Leave. Bye. Hi. Thank you. Pants up, baby. But I have a favorite movie. It was The Matrix for a while. I don't know what changes. I really liked Enough with Jennifer Lopez. Um, a favorite movie? At the moment, no. Oh. Do I smoke weed? No, but I used to be a big pothead when I was in my early 20s. Would you date a guy long distance on a nearby continent? No. Mm -mm. Ain't no 90 day fiance over here. Love is rude to those that are rude. Thank you, Squirrel Gang, because they act like I'm just up here. The fucking wicked witch from motherfucking Brooklyn. And they don't give that. How can a rude person call you rude? Where is a place you want to visit one day? Mm. I absolutely want to go to Africa. I'm not sure what parts though. Like I, I hear South Africa is lit. I had some friends from South Africa a long time ago. Hi, baby kitty, boomy kitty. Um, I had some friends that were from Senegal. I absolutely want to go to Greece. I want to go to London town. I want to go to Japan. I want to go to Thailand. I live in Africa. Nice. Shouts out to Africa. Do I support gay? Gay what? Fix your lashes. No offense, but Jersey. I don't know. It went by too. Do y'all support gays or lesbians? Um, Support how? Like, what do you mean? I'm not giving out any money to anybody. I don't know what you're talking about. No offense, but Jersey and New York looks the same. Yeah, it does. Especially North Jersey. It's basically the same thing. Um, do you have any favorite country you visited? I've mostly only been to islands. Like I, I, I haven't gone like across the pond yet, but I will be doing that this year. Do you support charity? Yeah. Why wouldn't I? Do I have a boyfriend, yes or no? Maybe. Maybe. Have you been to Hawaii? No. Would you ever come to Massachusetts? Yeah. I always wanted to tour all of the states in America. We don't even need to leave the country, honestly, as Americans. We just need to go to each state and we'll get a completely different vibe. Any countries you'd like to see? I just said that. I was saying um, South Africa. I don't know what countries are down there. I can't even get up here a lot. 
Senegal or like Kenya. Um, I want to go to Canada, which is crazy. I could literally just go to Canada. Like Canada is like a hop, skip and a jump. Like it's not hard. I could take a bus to Canada from Times Square. How do you feel about all those concerts coming up this Sunday? Is so many. I mean, this summer. I don't feel any way. I'm not going. I'm not really. I Beyonce does an Act Two tour. I'm gonna go to that one. I want to go because watching Renaissance. I initially thought I didn't want to go because I've seen her in concert so many times that I was just like, eh. But watching it, it seemed like a completely different experience. So I would want to go to Act Two if she does an Act Two. Why Ireland? I didn't say Ireland. Um, can I get a B-Day shout out? But I would go to Ireland. Like, I don't, I'm not Italy, France. Like, I would go to all of those places. Um, uh-uh, uh-uh, you're getting fucking blocked. Hey, Mika. Mm, do I have a favorite music artist? I mean, I love Beyonce. I love Nicki Minaj. I love Rihanna. I wish she would come out with something new. SZA has some good tunes. Um, Doja Cat has like one or two songs that I like. But I listen to older music. I don't really. Yeah, my cash app is pinned. Thank you. <laughs> what's up come for me can you please say my name you kind of look like beyonce i don't think so but beyonce is beautiful do you have any sports you would like to play or watch no do you play an instrument no thank you all right i'm leaving so, show up as her, be her, show up as him, be him. Don't let nobody play in your face. Do I want to go to Toronto? Yes. Um, the world is a stage and you are at the center of it. Life is a movie and you are starring in it. Shine bright like a diamond. Main character energy all day. So long. Farewell to you, my friends. Goodbye for now. Until we meet again. Yeah, I'm not down. I'm just hungry. But I'm not always like, oh, 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 like I'm a person. So sometimes I'm chilling. I'm just chilling. I'm not sad. I'm not mad. I'm not down. Like, it don't give that. Happy April Fools. Spread love is the Brooklyn way.